see another uh, problem in hexagonal lamina. We see in the question, we have to construct a hexagon dimension 30 having two of its uh, edges parallel to both vertical plane and horizontal plane. In this plane, in this problem, we have to take one of the edges being parallel to both HP and VP, how we did in the pentagon. And we have to consider a 10 mm from each of the planes of projection, okay. So that's what, what I did initially, turn an XY line and we have taken 10 mm distance from each of the planes of projection here. So I can show the 10 mm distance here. So this is 10 and similarly this is also 10, okay 10, 10 mm. After draw to this point exactly I have drawn a circle of dimension 30. After that I measured 30 mm from this point exactly. I have cut it dark 1, 2 like that. So 3. 4, 5 and 6. So, so equally dividing, cutting the arc by measuring 30 mm. So after cutting the arc, so what we do, we are going to join. This is another method by which we are constructing a hexagon. After constructing a hexagon, we are going to erase the, these things. Okay, so hexagon it is constructed. Now we can remove this circle. Okay. Now we can mark the namings A, B, C, D, E, F. So dimension here it is given 30. Okay. So remember it is not 25, it is uh, 30. So now we will draw the first position here. Okay. So in front we got it here P dash, A dash, C dash, F dash, D dash, E dash. Okay. So we are taking a reference point here B dash and E dash. So angle of inclination that is 60 degree to HP plane. reference point sixty degree now measuring from B dash to D dash for stark length so cut the arc second arc length from B dash to C dash cut the arc this is C dash F dash, this is D dash and D dash. After cutting the arcs, okay, in arc this length. Now projecting downward. So now we can mark the naming C, this is B, C, D, E, F. So we have done with the second position. Now we can see this in the question we have to make the two of its edges parallel to both vertical and horizontal plane. See this is what the edge which is already parallel to the HP now. We will make this AB end parallel to VP by touching this okay, 10, 10 mm line. Okay, So that's what we are doing it. So 
So first I will take a B reference. Now from B to A, you can take B to A. Get dark. So B to A. Next we have this length. A to F. So A to F. This will be same. Now reverse A to C okay. So after this we reconstruct this F to E reverse it is f2 d so we have now here it is c is d e is f so now we can join this Sorry, we have to project these two uh, these two uh, projections on this uh, 10 mm line. I am doing it again. So the diagram remains same. No need to worry. Okay. So diagrams will be remaining same. Okay. No need to worry. So here the projections will be there on this this uh, 10, 10 degree line okay because it has to take uh, a dash b dash f dash within bracket c dash similarly a dash in bracket and d dash so we have reference point is this we get the same diagram no need to worry so here we get 60 we get the arc length so we have this a dash b dash this is F dash and C dash it is visible right now we have this E dash and D dash so angle it is same 60 so there is no change in the uh, second position drop it will get same okay so now the third position the final peak See in this, uh, this is B dash, B dash, C dash, this is M dash, this is D dash, C dash. Is 
what we done with the problem okay 